Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uy, qué claridad. I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm not the same teacher. Good, good. I'm fine. Okay, welcome, guys. I'm to see you guys. Well, the majority of you, well, no, not the majority of you. I only have five right now connected, but we'll soon be more. That's the important thing. <laughs> All right. How was your day? Fine. Yeah, you had a good day? Very good. Yeah? Okay. Very good. Thank okay. you. Okay, good. Um, and um, how, how was yesterday? Did you guys have a bad storm? And at night, because over here in my house, it rained all night. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it rained all night long. Did you guys also have a very stormy day? In my house, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, welcome to today's class. Um, Hello, Edgar, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine things. Yeah, okay, good. Um, and how was your day? How was mm -hmm. your day? How was your day? Ah, sorry. Good uh, evening. You, you listen, uh, you listen, teacher. I can hear you, yes. Can you hear me? Ah, okay. Okay, sorry. It's que, um, Tengo unos inalámbricos ahora, entonces lo he estado probando. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, teacher. Okay. How was your day? Um, yes. Uh, it, it, it very, very, very good. Oh, good. Excellent. Okay, excellent. All right. Okay, Josué, how was your day? No. Uh, a little busy because I finished my uh, my the class in the university. I have uh, final uh, projects and evaluations. Oh, okay. I see. Projects and evaluations, huh? Wow. So what you're you're studying at the universities? Um, what what year are you doing right now? It's the first number four. Number four. Yeah. It's almost finished. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Good for you. Okay. All right. Uh, how are you, Yvonne? Fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. How was your day? Thank you. Uh, very busy, teacher. Yeah? Yeah, I have uh, three meetings today. I have uh, in, the, in the morning a uh, meeting of a new project in, in, the, in the unit. I was uh, making audit in the production floor. Then I have a, I had a innovation meeting. Uh, then I had a quality meeting. <laughs> wow. uh, I I had to to do the I, I don't I don't know how to say. Uh, uh, I have a, a report that they call 
minuta de reunión. It's like uh, you, you write all the, uh, the points that you talk uh, in, in the meeting and the homework uh, to do for, for each, uh, each person of the, of the group. I don't know how to say that report in English. So it's a report that you, you do like in a group. Yes, uh, for example, if you say, I will do uh, that activity and you have to uh, write uh, that commitment in the report and uh, the, the activity, the responsible, the day that uh, the person have to do the activity and you send the report for all the people in the group. Um, Good evening. Good evening, Marvin. Okay, I see. All right, wow. So you, you had a very busy week, uh, sorry, day. I can, yeah. I can <laughs> have a meeting after meeting after meeting. Wow, okay. I guess uh, I guess everybody also had a very busy day, huh? Yeah, I also had a very busy day today. Today was uh, a little bit exhausting, but um, hopefully tomorrow will be better. It'll be a better day. Your oh. background is so different, teacher. Oh yeah, um, I just, I have a, a, a backdrop uh, for my, my, my job. Like my other job, mm. and today I just left it there. So, so um, yeah, it's, you know, I decided to keep it there. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. We miss your cat. To see your cat. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll we'll bring him back. Yeah. I just I don't know. I was just uh, today. It was like I, I was so tired. I didn't even take anything down. Like I normally like. You know, after I, I put everything away, but today, <laughs> so there it is in my background. Okay. Anyway, um, okay. So, guys, welcome, um, and um, let's take attendance to begin with. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. Um, okay, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Andres? Andres? Okay. Uh, that? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Good. Janet? Present teacher. Uh, Fabiola? Present teacher. All right. Heidi? Present teacher. Irene? Irene? No, oh, Irene? Okay. Ivan? 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 No, okay, no Ivan. Uh, Johnny, 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 no, okay. All right, Josue? Present teacher. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jury, are you having problems with the camera? Uh, no, I am going to, I just I am doing something, but I am going oh. to put on the camera okay. just in one moment. Okay, okay, thank you. Carla. Yes. Okay, welcome. Uh, Melissa. All right. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Uh, Manuel, Manuel, no, uh, Marvin, present teacher, 
Wendy. Present teacher. Uh, Werner. Werner? Oh, I think he's just connecting right now. Werner? No? Oh, no, he's not. No, I thought he was. Okay, never mind. Werner's not here. Um, Yvonne? Present. Okay. Um, Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier? No? Okay, uh, and Jenny. Jenny? Okay, all right, so I'm gonna just repeat the people that I heard, or better said I didn't hear, just to make sure that I haven't uh, missed anybody. Okay, so I didn't hear Andres, um, Irene, Ivan, Johnny, uh, Melissa, Manuel, Warner, Francisco, and Jenny. Am I correct? Yeah, I didn't hear those people. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, guys, so we're going to begin our class um, with our presentation. Please tell me when you can see it. Okay, yes. teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, so here we go. So this is, um, so this is the beginner six, three, process, procedure. And today is Tuesday, June 8th, 2021, day number 12. And your facilitator is Jessica. Um, okay, so what we're going to do right now is the following. I'm going to, we're going to play a game, okay? The idea with this game is to see how much uh, you can, you guys can remember about um, the vocabulary that we learned, okay? Now, I want you guys just to do this from memory, um, so I don't want you guys to be cheating or anything. Um, I, I literally want you guys to try it without looking at anything. I just want to see if you guys, um, how much you guys remember from last class, okay? So, um, you know, and if you don't get it, you know, the first time it's okay, it's not a big deal, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you a word, but the word is is um, all mixed up. It's un so you need to unscramble the letters to create the correct word. Got it? You understand what I'm yes, saying? Okay. Now, yes. The letters are disorganized, and what you're going to do is you're going to put the letters in the correct place in the correct order to make the word correct words. Okay. Now. It's a little, it's a little tricky because what I have done is I've organized the letters in alphabetical order. So <laughs> it's literally like you're, you're going to have to like piece them together. It's just literally in alphabetical order, the, let, the letters. So it, all the letters of the word are there, but it's all in alphabetical order. Okay. So let's see how good, how guys, how good you guys are with this. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna try this. Okay, here's the first word. So try, remember, try to do this without without looking, right? Don't cheat. Try to do it from, you know, you, you have time. We, we have enough time. The second word is too easy, coordinator, right? Okay. <laughs> 
Recruiting. Recruiting. Okay, let's see. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's see. There you go. Bravo. Very good. See? So it's not too difficult, right? Okay. All right, here we go with the next one. And if it's specially. Sorry, what was that, Haiti? Benefit specialist. Okay, is that yeah, your final? Is. is that your final answer? Answer. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay, so it's it's not too hard. You can see that, right? Okay. Here, let's try the next one. No cheating. Remember. Human resources. Human resources. Generalist. Final answer? Human resources. Generalist. Yeah? So, final answer? Yes. Final answer, right? Yes. yes. Okay, let's try. Let's see. Very good, Rambo. Hey, you guys are good at this. Okay, let's go to the next one. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Warner. Specialist. Uh -uh. You have time. No, no, se me desespere, no. You have time. No way. Uh, mm -mm -mm. We have two hours. <laughs> right. More. And more. <laughs> Hace también ofende, dice ahí, teacher. Lo mismo pensé yo, pero. <laughs> Especially. Especialista yeah. en hacer también ofende. As an Minofen specialist. Alguien tuvo que ver. Yeah, one of you guys had to have uh, seen this this uh, job position yesterday. Compensation specialist. Compensation specialist. Final answer. What the public says. <laughs> uh huh. What does the public say? The audience. Take the phone call of the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we, we. I need to open up um the the three um lifelines, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so final answer. For me, it's fine. So, hey, do you want to repeat what you said? Is compensation specialist? Compensation specialist. Okay. All right. Let's see if we're right. Hey, excellent. Bravo. Okay. And I think we have one more. Let's try one more. Hmm. Consult talent, talent, talent management, management consultant. consultant. Again? Talent, talent management, management consultant. 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 Okay, final answer? Yes. All right. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. También nos en hack. Let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, just be careful. This is pronounced consultant. 
Not consultant. It's consultant. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Questions? Questions now? Okay. All right. So, um, great. So these are the, excuse me, these are the different jobs that we saw yesterday, okay? So, um, oh, there's one more. I forgot about this one. Administrative assistants. Sorry? Administrative assistant. 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 Administrative. Okay. Final answer? Yeah. Go the five box. All right. Oh, Good. Bravo. Okay. Just make sure that we pronounce this word administrative. 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 The stress is on the first, on the second letter? Yes, administrative. 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 No. Administrative, no. Administrative. Administrative. Administrative assistant. Administrative. 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 Okay. Yes. All right. Good. A little more practice. Okay. Yeah. Well, just continue saying it. Administrative. 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 Right. Just continue. Administrative. 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 Okay. And then what's like. I always suggest to students that at the beginning, it, it's, it's a good idea to exaggerate the word just simply because that way the brain gets used to it. So exaggerate it. And, you know, um, obviously you're not going to go around saying administrative, administrative, right? But, but if, at the beginning, it helps, right? It helps to be able to train the brain, right? The, the second syllable, so an administrative administrative and I, you can even like do something um you know with your body just to remember that it's on the second level so you can like do like a little um you know a little hop administrative administrative and you know things like that like they, i said at the beginning it may you may feel weird doing it but with time i i guarantee that your brain is going to get it and you won't need to do it anymore Okay, but it does help. Trust me, it does help. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Excellent. So, your turn. Remember, this is something that I asked you guys to do yesterday. Write the requirements right. for your job position. Okay. I asked you guys to do this for homework. I'm sure everybody did it. Yes, teacher. Right? Yeah, I know. You guys are, are good students. <laughs> okay, work in pairs. So we're going to be working in pairs. I'm going to be assigning you a partner. Join your assigned breakout room and share your information with your classmate. Okay? okay. So that's all we're going to do. Simply, you're going to share the information. Um, you can ask questions too. I don't want you to limit yourself to just listening to your, like just giving the information to your partner, listening, and then you tell the information, your partner listens, and that's it. No, don't limit yourself to that because in real life, we don't do that. We don't just go around giving information, listening, and being quiet. In real life, we react to people, we ask them questions, et cetera, et cetera. So I want you to do that. And of course, do it in English, right? Because you know, so because some sometimes I, I know I know sometimes that you you want you guys want to talk about some sort of interesting and fun um, topic and sometimes it's easier to speak about that in Spanish. But you know, since we have this opportunity to be here in class and practice the language, let's take advantage of it, right? Let's not be doing it in 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 
in Spanish. Do everything in English if possible. All right, so um, I'm going to assign your breakout room. Like I said, we're gonna work in pairs. Um, uh, Werner, are you on two devices? No teacher, only one, my drive teacher. Okay, no problem. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna give you, I would say, I'm gonna give you eight minutes. I want you guys to really talk about this, right? Talk about your, your, your job requirements, talk about the things that um, you, know, you have to do, talk about the things that uh, you've learned to do because that's what your position requires. Sometimes your position requires something that originally you didn't know how to do, but then you learn to do it with time. So you can talk about that too, right? You can say, yes, well, my job position requires this. I didn't know how to do it, but then I took a course and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, okay? Okay, so let's open up the rooms. Uh, we can uh, practice about our job experience and well in in my company or my the title of my my job is uh, operator system and one of our requirement to to hire people for that? Uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for meetings. A full-time job, work on weekend day. And uh, we need three years of experience in this position. Well, you, you don't... You, you don't permit me to write, but it's okay. I'm going to try to remember <laughs> what do you say. Okay. Well, well, in my case, I'm going to tell my requirements, bachelor mm -hmm. degree, mm -hmm. and um, let me see other key, other time other thing is. Case. Okay. In my case, in my case, um. In my in my case, the requirement um, maybe ability ability to close cells um, and work negotiation skills. Personal decline. Mm. Efficient magnum max magnum. I don't know. I'm going to read it again. Okay. Okay. Hi, Werner. Hi, teacher. Teacher, Werner is on his way home. I'm going yeah, to read. I, I, I do. Um, okay. Um, are, you, are, you, are you able to, to work with, with Heidi like that? 
I'm not going, you're not going to have like a, an accident. I don't want you to have an accident. <laughs> yes, no, teacher. Know. <laughs> you know what? Um, I'm going to pull someone from, just give me a second, okay? Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, teacher. Reconocer, uh, hermano. The program. Recognize. Yeah. Hi guys. Yes. So, um, Hi. Hi. I just wanted to know which of you three has not participated yet. Who? Luis. Okay. Luis, I'm going to move you to another group. Okay. Uh, bye, Luis. <laughs> See you. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay. 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 Adiós. Sí. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. And so. And. Uh, if I need uh, the draft. <laughs> I'm fine. Getting here. Okay. Um, Very good. I moved the lease over here so that Warner doesn't have to feel that you have to, uh, so that you don't have to worry about it, Warner. Okay. So mm -hmm. you can just listen to Luis and Hedy. Okay. It's just that Warner is driving. I don't want to. I don't want him to have a an accident. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. It's okay. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, um, uh, Hi guys. Hello, teacher. What happened? And I, I write the. The uh, what is it? The word Edward. The require or require. Que ayer me perdí el final de la clase, teacher, y no vi esa parte. Oh. Okay. Uh, you just have to talk about what are the requirements from your job. Don't don't require me to be, to be writing or anything down because you're, you're gonna waste all the time through that. Talk about it. Speaking. Ah. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, teacher, you. y ayer, ayer me tocaba a mí este. Quedarme con usted, ¿verdad? Pero fíjese que tengo... ¿Hola? Yeah, ¿Me escucha? Yeah. Ajá. Eh, el problema es que ahorita, teacher, estoy yendo a trabajar solo en la noche. Entonces, este, antes me podía conectar porque tenía otro compañero que me cubría. Entonces, ahorita me toca que irme antes. Y por esta razón ya no me pude conectar ayer. Chris, no te preocupes. Si tenemos otra opening y you want to stay, you're more than welcome. Ok, maybe the Friday o next week, but the uh, this, this, this night I work. I work to Tuesday. Ah, I work. I work tonight. I work uh, night or range range shift. Graveyard shift. Graveyard shift and uh, for for uh, to from Monday to Tuesday. Monday to. Tuesday or Monday to Thursday? Thursday. Thursday, Friday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, yeah. Así que, tal vez la otra semana hay espacio. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, Edgar. I walk, uh, I wake up. What is the bus of wake up? I woke up, woke up at 
at 11 a.m. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> yeah, because I made it <laughs> uh -huh. in the middle of the week. And it is the truth. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Hello, teacher. Hi, Carla. You wake up at 3.11 in the morning? No, no, no. 11, 11 in the morning. Just in my, in my day off. Oh, on your day uh -huh. off. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Because Irene told, told me about my schedule from uh, Monday and to Friday. So in, my, in, in the normally weekdays, I wake up at... Uh, a normal weekday. Five, a normal weekdays, I wake up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. okay. Just in my day off, I work <laughs> at uh, 11 a.m. What time do you go to sleep? 11. Um, every day? Yeah, no, on your day off. Like, like you wake up at 11, but what time uh, do you go to sleep? At the same hour, maybe um, okay. midnight. Mm -hmm. because, I, because I because I take time to study another uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Materias, math, matters, matters. Subjects. Subjects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't think any one of us goes to bed at 10, 30 or 11 because it's difficult. Like, like, you can't just finish class and then boom, go to sleep, right? No. <laughs> it's just so difficult. No. It's a lot of uh -huh. time, right? So I think... For everybody. Like, yeah, the majority of us, we, we go to sleep late, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, are you girls finished? Yes. 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 Okay. All right, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, teacher. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it's, it's good information. It's, it's, <laughs> it's necessary to say that in uh, multar mm -hmm. the fat food for me to, to uh, make some branches and, and, and make uh, other um, opportunities to, to a job, but uh, uh, I don't know, maybe it, it, we could, could see something like that, right? Yeah. I work about Okay, guys, so how did you feel? Were you, did you have enough time to share with your classmates, to ask questions? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, do you guys have any questions? No? Okay. All right, actually, before we continue with the next part, I just want to make sure that everybody understands the vocabulary we saw yesterday because we really didn't have um, enough time to go over the vocabulary. So I just want to make sure about that. Okay, so um, in a moment. Just a second, guys. All right, so um, please tell me when you can see my screen. Yes. 
Yes, we see it. Good. So, oh, hold on. Oh, that's not good. All right, so this is what we saw uh, yesterday. This was the first one. And I want to just make sure that everybody understands the vocabulary in this part right here. So tell me if there's any vocabulary that you want me to clarify for you. So it's okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. What about pronunciation? Anything from here that you're not sure about the pronunciation? Oh, uh, uh, you know what? Sorry. I'm going to, um, before, before I ask you about pronunciation, let me read it first to you. And then you can ask me if you there's somewhere that you you thought was different, okay? So we nice. have bachelor's degree organizes schedules of candidate interviews, opens and posts requisitions, coordinates internal and internet job postings has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruitment team, sorry, a, recru sorry, a recruiting team, has five years of experience, works on weekends, works part-time. Now I remember, uh, I always have a doubt with this word bachelor, bachelor's degree. So this is for the university, right? Or is a yeah. technical? Right, a bachelor's degree is at a university. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. okay, it's the equivalent here in Salvador to licenciatura. licenciatura. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Teacher, okay. other qu uh, question opens in post requirements requisitions. What is that? Uh, what part? The whole thing? A uh, post. Uh, post, post. To post. Okay. Mm -hmm. To post means like um, to make it public. Like when you uh, go like on Facebook, right? Or um, yeah, you yeah, you go Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you post um, something, right? Like uh, you can post um, a mem. Uh, you can post a. Um, uh, a quote, a picture, okay? So that's to make it public, okay? Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank right. you. You're welcome. Anything else that you guys wanna ask about or the pronunciation that you that you said, oh, you know, this is different. I, I, I didn't know you, you pronounced it like this. Can you repeat re requisitions? Uh -huh. <laughs> requisitions. <laughs> Requisitions. 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 Teacher, uh, bachelor's degree um, is a uh, uh, special. No. A special thing? No, no, no. Uh, a bachelor's degree is more general. general. Teacher, uh, the case that the 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 position needs to be an uh, engineer. In that case, is 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 up can be applied bachelor's degree to. Uh, yes, you can say a bachelor's degree in engineering. Oh, so the engineer uh, stands a bachelor's degree? Yes. Oh, okay. You can have a bachelor's degree in engineering. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, 
we can, if you want to get a specialization, then you would have, a, you know, like a, a PhD, for example, or a master. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would, that's uh, like going into like, um, you know, one or two more years, right? But yes, anything that, it, by the way, a bachelor's degree usually lasts four years. Okay. So that's just something a little, that's a cultural difference. Like from here in El Salvador that I know that all bachelor's degrees are five years. And uh, then you have a year for the fee system. Whereas in um, a, a bachelor's degree in an English speaking world would be four years. Okay. So it's actually possible okay. for somebody to finish their bachelor's degree when they're like 22 years old because they usually, usually graduate with when they're like 17, 18 years old, and then they do four years of university. And so they can graduate like a 22 from a bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yeah. En inglés corporativo, get the, the diploma. What is the, que nombre se le daría eso? Curso, nivelación de inglés, ¿cómo? Um, yeah, it's, well, it's, um, it's a language degree, but it's, it's not really, well, it's not really a degree. It's more like a diploma, language diploma. It's, um, you know, it, it doesn't really, um, yeah, I, I it, it's definitely not something that you would, uh, you would find at a university, right? This is not. Um, so really it's just basically a, a language diploma. Mm -hmm. Teacher, and for example, here in El Salvador, there are some, there are a lot of technicals. They last three years. Uh, so I don't know what is the classification or the correct word? Yeah. For I, them. You know. um, I know that word, I uh, just, it slipped my mind. Um, okay. Let me, okay. it starts with an A, but oh, it's, it's at the tip of my tongue. Let me remember and I'll look at that. But it's not technician. It's, no. We can, no. Well, you could have a, uh, the technician is the person. The person, the subject. Um, but um, it, no, that's not the career. Uh, let me, let me, I, I have it at the tip of my tongue. Let, let me uh, okay. try to remember and I'll tell you in a moment, okay? Yes, it's back on your mind. We understand. <laughs> uh, yes, I know it's somewhere there. I just have to. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It's okay. Um, okay, anything else in, in the meantime while I remember? No? Okay. All right, let's move on to the next one. What about in this one? Any words that are new for you? Something that you would like to know what the meaning of that word is? No? All of them are okay? No, it's okay? Okay, all right, in that case, um, let me read, let me read uh, the vocabulary, or so all the information. And you can listen to the pronunciation if you want something, want me to repeat something, I will go ahead and do that. So we have bachelor's degree, develops and maintains competitive, progressive and proactive compensation plans, creates cost-effective benefit program to provide motivation, incentives and rewards for effective performance, works on weekends, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. I'm, I'm, so it's maintains. 
maintain. develops and maintain. Main, maintains. 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 In service, in, in service. How pronunciation, do you say pronunciation or, or vocabulary? Pronunciation. Oh, okay. Um, incentives. 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 Okay. Incentives. 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 Or incent. ¿Cómo se escribe? Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. I'm writing it wrong because this is the verb. Sorry. Incentives are incentivos. Incentivos. Um, I'm reading it wrong. So I'm. This is a part of the verb. Is that would be uh, incentivates. This would be incentivates as the verb. Incentivate. Incentivates. Yes. Incentivates. Pero incentivos si se pronuncia incentivates. Así como Yeah, incentivos. Uh -huh. Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> okay, all right. So it sounds like everybody's okay with this. So we're gonna go on to the next one, which is talent management consultant. Any vocabulary that you're not familiar with? Assess, assesses, I don't, I, I need the pronunciation, but also the meaning. Assess, the meaning. Uh -huh. both meaning and pronunciation. I don't know if it comes from like assessment. <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly where it comes from, yeah, to assess. Assess. Oh, assess is the pronunciation of that? Assess is the verb. Assess ah, okay. is, is the third person singular. Assesses. Assesses. Assesses performance. Okay. So evaluates, in other words, evaluates performance. Okay. 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 Uh, Carrying development. Associate. Sorry, Anna Claudia. I just got the. I just remember the word associate. Associate degree. Ah. Associ associate. Associate degree. Yes, I knew it's. Ah, that degree. is for technical person for yes. technical yes. studies. Or for, or for college when you go to college. Uh huh. You know, it's like, like com sorry, community colleges. You got? Do you know? Do you know the difference between like a a regular college, university, and a community college? No. Nope. Community colleges are like smaller. Um, they're not as big as universities. Like they're like universities are huge. And colleges are a little bit smaller, uh, like a smaller campus. The classes are smaller. And it's usually they are colleges are very good. Community colleges are very good for those students that are like fresh out of high school and it's good for them to make the transition so some 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 students they like to go first to community colleges because they're a little bit bigger but not so big so they're not so scary and then they transfer to a regular college a regular university college so um but they can but they can continue in the community college just that the community colleges because they're smaller um, they don't offer so many careers and so and you know they're usually the careers are that they offer are a little bit shorter so they can get an associate degree ah uh, okay okay so teacher, associate I degree teacher, i have a question teacher um how how do you say prerequisito 
He's going to check it. Pre-requirement. Uh -huh. Pre-requirement. Is college pre-requirement to go to university? You mean call, you mean a community college? Uh-huh. No. No. It's up to it's up to uh, the person. You you decide. Let me understand. A, a community college is where you learn uh, for example, ITCA here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. ITCA could be like a community college. Yes. Oh, That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yeah. The community college depend the degree, the student degree for the university? Okay. No. But, okay, I'll, I'll explain. I'll, I'll explain again. Okay, imagine, imagine a student that is 17 years old, okay? Just graduated, they're 70 years old. They're very young, right? They're very young, they're inexperienced and university life is very like, sometimes like very grown up. So, there is so there exists what we call a community college, which is like the middle point between high school and university. So there's like it's like high school is like this big, and then university is like this big, right? So a community college is like this big. So it's like in the middle, right? It's like in the middle between. And by by um, size, I literally mean everything. In terms of um, the campus is smaller for a community college. Um, the classes are smaller. You know that universities, you can like big universities, you can have like even 200 students. You know, and some even bigger ones, you can have like three or four or 500 students in a class, right? Big, big, uh, huge. But community colleges are small. So you in a class, they make sure that they, the, the number of students that they have the most like 30 or 40. So it's easier to adapt. It's easier to adapt to that, li that life, you know, to that, um, you know, higher, higher uh, educational degree. And, um, you know, it's in there, they're usually a little more, it's come on. yeah, it's just, it's a little, it, they're like um, community colleges, because they're small, they also do a lot of, you know, community things, right? So it kind of helps the person to, um, to make a transition. Now, another reason why somebody might want to go to a community college is because community colleges offer um, careers that are very short, you know, and if somebody doesn't want to go to university and, you know, spend so much money because that's another thing. Uh, universities are really expensive in the United States and Canada and, and, and the UK, super expensive. So maybe somebody doesn't want to spend so much money. So they go to a community college and get a associate degree for like two or three years. And that's it and they don't have to be um, spending so much money, right? Okay, uh, or um, maybe somebody decides to go to a community college because, um, yeah, so it could be because of money reasons, it could be because uh, simply they want to make a good transition or because the, the career that they want only exists in community colleges because it's a smaller career. Does that make sense? Got it, got it. Yes, I understand when I uh, see this like uh, ITCA, uh, what the ITCA offers for careers. Técnico en esto, técnico en lo otro. Uh -huh. They are sure, but they can work. And in case they want to specialize, they can go to the university. Exactly, right, yeah. They but have some equivalents, yes. I guess. Exactly, and they make it, yes, exactly. They uh, they give them credits for certain- um, Credits, that is the word. <laughs> they give them credits, credits for, for uh, certain um, uh, subjects that they have taken at the community college. They transfer those, those credits onto the university degree so they can either specialize in something or move on to, you know, another kind of career. 
right? So it's up. Yeah. So anyways, that's called an associate degree. I'll write it down in the chat. Associate degree. Yeah, I told you it was going to come back to me. I knew it started with an A. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, okay. Uh, any other words from here that you want to ask about? So we have bachelor's degree, responsible for leadership development, career development, assesses performance, learning and development, works on Saturday, full-time job, one year of experience. Assesses, the word, the, the verb is assess, assess? Yes. Assess. Assess. Yeah, that's the verb. And then in the third person singular, it'd be assesses. And the meaning, teacher? To evaluate. Evaluate. Evaluation del desempeño. Exactly. Okay. All right. And the last one we saw yesterday was human resource generalist. Vocabulary questions about this. Regarding policies. Uh, vocabulary or pronunciation? Uh, vocabulary. Okay, regarding? Regarding or policies? Regarding. Regarding means um, about, in relation to. So res response to inquiries or inquiries or questions about policies regarding is about okay any other words okay uh let me read it bachelor's degree uh, oh, yes that's true uh, uh, that's that word is really common to find uh, a letters uh, tense regards. Is it the same? Repeat the expression. It is common to find at the at the end of the letters a uh, tense regard or kind regards. Best regards. Best regards. Best regards. Best regards. Yeah. Uh, regards in that case is a different thing. Regards mm -hmm. is different from regarding. Okay. It's, it's, it comes from the same kind of word, but it means a different thing. Um, a regarding means about or it's um, in relation to, relacionado con, right? Okay. And regard, uh, like, um, like you can say, for example, give my regards to your family. You can say, give my regards to your family. And in that case, it's like saying like, hi, mis saludos. Okay. Mm. Regards. Okay. okay. Which is different. Regards is um, uh, spelled like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, right. in the word regardless, regardless is uh -huh. uh, the usage is similar to regarding. In this case, respond to inquire regardless policy. No, no, no regardless means without, uh, like, doesn't matter. That's kind of what it means. It doesn't matter. Okay, for okay. example, you could say, uh, regardless. Regardless your illness, uh, you can be vaccinated, something like that. <laughs> uh, 
No, it would be something more like, um, you have to wear a mask regardless if you are vaccinated or not. Or not, ah, okay, it okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're vaccinated or not, you still have to wear the mask. Awesome. Okay? It's like okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, let me read bachelor's degree. Maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Responds to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Works on Saturday, part-time job, five years of experience in similar positions. Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, would you like to repeat the procedures? Sure. The pronunciation. Yes. Procedures. 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 Right. Okay, thank you. Procedures. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, anything else you guys need me to help you with? Uh, what is the meaning of res respond to inquire? Response? Re respond to reply? To reply or to give an answer? Inquiries means questions. So it's like saying um, gives and answers to questions about policies. That's, that's what a letter means. It just this is more higher register vocabulary. I was about to ask you what is the difference of answer and respond. Yeah. Um, like I said, this is and respond is uh, yeah, it's higher register. It's it's more formal. Oh, okay. okay. But they are they can be used in the same way. Yes, but when we're talking about like a, a job posting, we would it would be more appropriate to use respond, respond. because okay. it's a higher register. We want to sound as professional as possible. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, anything else? Okay, all right. So that's it guys, um, that's for the vocabulary. I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment because I'm going to take attendance. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Okay, permita. Uh, Andres, I think I saw him. Yes, I saw him. Hello, Andres. Okay. Se te escucha muy suave, Andres. Sí. Es que creo que, que nuevamente está la desconfiguración del micrófono. No, no. Uh, bye. Tiene que cambiar la... la... Sounds like he's a model, <laughs> <laughs> No se preocupe. You sound the mini. You sound the mini. I know. The minions, minions. Okay. Yo, le, yo le contaba ahí a Andrés que um, tenía un, un alumno que a él se, siempre se le desconfiguraba el, el sonido, pero a él era como. Sonaba como un monstruo de un, eh, de un, um, ¿cómo se llama? Una película de terror. <ríe> y entonces, sí, pero que nada más así como, ¿verdad? Bueno, entonces, a ver, así pasa. Nos pasa, yo creo que a todos nos pasa de repente que tenemos problemas técnicos y que no se escucha. Uh, so no worries. Um, ok. Um, 
me. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Fabiola. Present teacher. Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Okay. Johnny. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Josue. Present. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jerry. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Manuel. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Francisco. Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, so the people I didn't hear were Melissa, Manuel, and Francisco. Todos los demás están. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So um, we're going to continue here. Um, please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. You can see it? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, let's continue here with the PowerPoint. So we're going to look at job, uh, job profile forms. So we have here two job profile forms, okay? So, um, oops, sorry. So what we're gonna do right now, uh, I want you to create uh, a, the profile form, or better say, you're not create, you're gonna complete. You're going to complete the job profile forms for two, of the employees at the RC company, okay? And this goes very well. You can use the information that we saw here, okay? So you can use um, some information here to complete it, okay? And so we're gonna complete information such as job title, work location, department, reports to, full-time, part-time, essential uh, duties and responsibilities, education and work experience requirements, employee name, and employee signature. So I'm going to get you guys to work in groups and you're gonna complete one, one of them, not both, just one. Okay, got it? Do we understand what we're gonna be doing? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Anybody have questions? So just complete only one. Okay, so that, that, yes? I'm sorry, that profile is going to be with uh, what about us or one of those, one, one member of the group? Um, you're gonna be, no, no, no. This is gonna be for one of the profiles from the people that work at RC company, okay? The page 30, based on page 30. Exactly, okay. yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, yes. So you can use that information for one of them, okay? You're gonna, but as a group, you're gonna complete only one. All, all of you are gonna to work together to complete one. Do we understand what we're doing? 
this description yeah. about the that application. Yeah. Yeah, so you can use the information from here, right? Okay. To, ha to help you and guide you to complete this, one of them, only one. Okay. And all of you, the, the, the people, all the people in the group are going to complete wow. only one. Okay. You're going to help each other to complete one. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So, Warner, ahora ya está en dos, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Only two. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get you guys to work in groups of three or four and complete it, okay? So here we go, I'm opening the rooms. Too. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a profile form about I don't know. Okay, here. Here we have okay, and customer service agent. Yes. Right. World location. San Salvador. San Salvador. <clears throat> San Salvador, okay. Uh -huh. Department, uh, department, I'm sorry, department. Um, and customer service or San uh -huh. Customer, customer service. Okay. Department reports to uh, teacher. Where location is uh, the place that the company is, or where location is the name of the company? No, um, the place of. Um, because we know the name of the company is RC. Yes. So the name of the company is RC, so we're looking for the location of the place. So okay. we're, what's like, is it located in San Salvador, Santa Ana, Valle Verdad, Maya, ah, okay. et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. Okay, world location, San Salvador. Department, San Salvador. Okay. Reports to, give me a name. Mm. Mm. Alicia Bolanos. General manager. General manager. Jenny, do you do you still have a power outage? Excuse me, teacher. You still have a power outage. Power outage. A power outage. What is outage? An apagón. 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 
¿De qué, teacher? No entiendo. Apagón. Si aún tiene un apagón. No. No, no. No tiene apagón. No. Ah, ok. Es que el, el fondo es el menos oscuro, entonces pensé que... Oh, no. Lo que pasa es que como los niños están en la sala, me viene al cuarto y es la cosa ah. del, de la cama. Ah, ok, ok, ok. No, es que mm. pensé, pensé que se le había ido a el, la luz, pero... Oh, no, no, no. Curiosity. Ok. Full time or part time? Full time. Full time. The education duty and responsibility. Sorry. But the first is. The first is in this case competitive program maintains dijo ma maintains dijo ella maintains teacher teacher, <laughs> <laughs> teacher in this case maintains is the for same. the benefits specialist maintains the pelum and for main. the benefits specialist uh-huh oh, what is your question uh, the maintenance is the same. The maintenance. No, maintains is my maintains. Okay. But maintenance is mantenimiento. Okay. Okay. No, it's maintenance. Yo le escuchaba maintenance. Maintenance. No, el otro, ha, el que vos dices. Maintenance. Maintenance is mantenimiento. Ah, maintenance. Okay. Maintains. Maintains is maintain. Maintains. Okay, teacher. Mantien. Thank you. Maintains. Mantener. Okay. So this one develops and maintains. Progressive. Mm -hmm. Competitive progressive. Great cost effective and effective performance. The last. Effective performance. Oh, and yeah, reward perfect. for effective performance. Yeah, this is a plus in the essential duties and responsibility. Uh huh. Okay. Develops, creates, and provides education and work incentives. experience. Education and work mm -hmm. experience requirement. Three years of experience. And then, are we almost ready? And no, teacher, we need a little more time. Okay. Okay, and the other is respond to. I don't remember in cures regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Response. Mm -hmm. It says response, but in the form it says report, reports. Oh, what else? Talking, talking about um, essential, essential duties and responsibility. Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Relation. Can you see it oh. says organized size schedules and candidate interview? Are you guys organized? Schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Of candidate. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. Interview. Do you need more time? Hi, teacher. Yeah. 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 We need yeah. more time. More time? Okay. Teacher, teacher. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, we have a question. Uh, what is the reason or or answer about reports to? What is the meaning? Reports to means who you are. who you need to make a report to. When you report to somebody, who do you report to? So who? there has to be somebody above who? you. Who? Mm -hmm. And yeah. when we talk about department, it's a location or department in a company? Department in the company. Okay, okay. Okay, that's all, teacher. Huh? Okay. Okay. Um, how much more time? Education or experience. How much more time mm -hmm. do you need? Three or five minutes. Three or five minutes. Okay, I'll give you three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you guys finished? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, you're ready then? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ella lo usamos. Yes. Hi, guys. Yes. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Are you guys finished? Uh, yes. yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay? Okay, mm -hmm. teacher. In the meantime, continue talking to your classmates. Um, mm -hmm. you know, just, you know, budding English about anything you guys want, but just make sure that you, you continue practicing English. Okay. okay, teacher. Uh, the, the the numbers essentially see there is an uh, responsibility. And uh, number one, to manage uh, payrolls and employees. All right. Uh, are you guys finished? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment then. Okay. Orificio nasale. Pero. Hi guys, are you finished? Yes, we yes, finished. Teacher. Wonderful. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. See, sí, teacher. <laughs> Hi guys, just wondering if you guys finished? Uh, yes, yes, I think so. Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment then. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, I think everybody pretty much finished. So what we're going to do is the following. You have a, I told you guys to create one, one profile, not two, right? But there is enough room for two, right? Why did I ask you only to do one? It's because the other one, you're going to complete with another partner. So this time I'm going to get you guys to work with another partner. And what you're going to do with that, that other partner um, is you're going to um, you're you're going to be working um, with a partner that created another profile, and you are going to give information for, that you did with your group to your new partner and they're gonna write down the information that you give them, and then you switch. They're gonna give you the information that they created with their group, and you're going to write it down in the other profile. Does that make sense? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, okay, so just give teacher, me. Teacher, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I have to go. I have to go work. You have to work. Go to work. Okay. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night, Marvin. I don't know, Rick. Bye, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, uh, vamos a ver. Tengo que hacer esto manual, así es que solo tenga mi paciencia porque lo estoy haciendo manual. Okay, I'm almost finished. Solo tengan un tantito más de paciencia. Okay, all right, I think everybody should have a partner now. So I'm going to give you the same amount of time, eight minutes. And what you're gonna do, like I said, you're gonna give information from that you did with your group to your partner. Your partner will write down the information that you give them. Then you're gonna switch. They will give you the information that they wrote with their group and you write down in your in the other profile, the information that you hear from your partner. Are the instructions clear? Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, let's open up the rooms then. Uh, Luis. No. I. No teacher. Um. Hello. There she is. I have a problem with my cell phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Everything okay? okay? Yes. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, so you understand what, you, what we're going to be doing? Repeat. Um, mm -hmm. Repeat. Repeat, please, and instruction. Do, do you, okay, so, bye. You and Fabiola were in different groups, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Originally. So, you, what you did 
was you created so what you did was you created okay this Okay, so you did this, right? You completed this. So you are going to share with your partner the information. You're going to share, but verbally. You're going to talk to your partner. Your partner, like, for example, Elka, you're going to share the information. And then Fabiola is going to, in the other, in this one here, is going to complete the information yeah. that you give her. Mm -hmm. and you're going to okay. switch. Fabiola will give oh, okay. her information from here, and you are going to write it here. OK. OK? So you okay. can ask yeah. questions like, what is the job title? What is the work location? What is the department? Mm -hmm. Who do you report to, et cetera, et cetera? OK? And complete mm -hmm. the information your partner gives you. Mm -hmm. OK? Yes. Okay, good. Go ahead. Uh, profiles form. Profile forms is a. Um, okay. Uh, a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the work location is in San Salvador, right? Okay. And department uh, service. Customer service, uh, uh, customer service department. Reports, customer service department. Okay. Uh, Mark. Yeah. This is the the my uh, uh, company. Yes, and, and the the world groups. Hello, Carla. Yeah, I oh, okay. get it. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, okay. 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 And you? Okay. I don't have a presentation, but I give you oh, the, no problem. the information. I... You have a, a, a complete. Uh... Okay. Uh, that... This is good, but I prefer, Werner, that you give her the information orally, okay? So that instead of showing it to her, give it to her orally so that she can practice also for her listening, okay? And you can... Okay? Oh, okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, in my case, the profit form... Uh -huh. Those are... I do, I felt that part so hard in the course, but this one is necessary. The human resources. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Hi. How are you guys doing? Hi. Yes, we already complete. Mm -hmm, the oh. Yes. Oh wow. Okay, you guys are quick. All right, just make sure that just go back and. Make sure that you have the information, okay? Okay, not a problem. Okay. Hi, Jerry. I just realized you're, you're all alone right now. Se le fue el compañero. You're muted. You're muted, Jerry. You're muted. Your your microphone. Can you listen? In? Yeah. Now I can hear you. Yes, I have. I well, I saw that yeah, I am alone. In that in that yeah. chat. Uh, yeah, he just um, he just wrote in the chat that um, 
that it started to rain a lot and then he lost the connection. Oh, okay. uh, are, you, are you in, in the group? Are you in the WhatsApp group? Uh, what then, sorry? Are you, so, the, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that you were in the group. Okay. Es que no lo, no lo había visto en el grupo. Por eso preguntaba. Yes, ahí estoy. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I I feel that I I lose uh, the uh, this class because I don't understand the process that we are going to do in that case. I suppose that we are going to fill this form with a coordinator, recurring coordinator, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, you 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 did it with your group, right? No, yes. You did with the group. So the idea was that you share the information from your group with um with Luis and Luis mm -hmm. shares it with you. That was ah, okay. activity. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I'm going to read that part of the a uh, part of the the the, 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 the this, this unit because I remember when I, I, I studied something in this area, the law and the record, record, resource, human resource are a little complicated with vocabulary they have. But I'm going to print that activity, but I, I, I almost complete. Essential duties and responsibilities in that case, we are going to take using that the, 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 let me see. Fail to take the micro, microphone, but you listen. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, let me close here. Well, uh, let me see if I'm trying to, well, if, if, <laughs> if, if I don't have a classmate with what I, we, what are going to do here? Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, the time is already over anyway, so. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, but I'm going to appear, I'm going to appear on the video in YouTube. <laughs> well, you, uh, you all appear on the video on YouTube. Yes, yes, I know, I know. But I, I, when I, sometimes I saw that I watched those, I watched those videos. Yeah. At the night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but uh, I'm todos nos hacemos famosos. Oh my God! <laughs> when, when I saw that video. <laughs> no, don't worry, but it. it's not a big deal. <laughs> Nobody sees those videos, just the group, you know. A nadie más le interesa, so don't worry. Do you, you know? think? Yeah. <laughs> because it's public, it's sometimes I think maybe, well, that's a matter. Yeah, but it, 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 you're right, it is public, but it's very difficult for someone to, you know, randomly choose a, a video and, you know, say like somebody that doesn't belong to the class really there's like really no reason why they would they would go check out a video from our class, right? Because the idea with these these videos is for you to get the information from the course, right? So if if um, you know if the person's not in our in our class, it's very difficult for. I mean, there's very a, a very small slight possibility that they would. Watch the video. I, I found I found a co uh, I found a coworker there in the, watching those videos. Oh really? The two oh, coworkers. Oh mm -hmm. my! They wanted to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if not, we'll have our fifteen minutes of fame. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for <laughs> for telling me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll see you in the main session, Jerry. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay.
Okay, guys. All right. Uh, by the way, just letting you guys know, it started to rain again. Uh, my house. Um, it's not as bad as yesterday. Right now, it's you know, but it is raining quite hard. So just letting you know, in case all of a sudden I disappear, you guys know what happened again. Okay. So anyway, um, you guys had a chance to compare with your partner to get the information. Yeah. Okay. Questions before we continue to the next activity? No, teacher. No? No. Okay. Okay. In that case, what we'll do is I'm going to share. Okay. So we did this already. Now, what we're going to, oh, hold on. Sorry. I need to sit cover. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So we're looking here at the vocabulary and the instructions are match the positions in part two within definitions below. So the, posi the positions are these ones, recruiting coordinator, benefit specialist, um, HR or human resource generalist, uh, administrative assistant, compensation specialist, talent manage management consultant. So these are the ones that we saw yesterday, okay? So I want you to take a look at those positions and match them with the definitions here. The first one is oversees both the talent review and performance management processes. Next one develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations, discipline actions, operations. Works in a company's human resource or personnel department. Is responsible for assisting with the administration of all benefits. Handles administrative requests and, and what, queries from senior managers and designs and implements overall recruiting strategies. So what you're going to do is match these, these uh, job positions to these definitions, okay? So I'll give you a chance to do that individually.
Okay, how are you doing? Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Yes, teacher. Yes? Anybody need more time? Okay. All right, so let's, let's start. Uh, we'll have Carla. Help me with number one, please. I think the answer is talent management consultant. Like that? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, Ivan, help us with number two, please. Um, the number two. I think is um HR generalist. Like that? Yes. Okay, thank you, Ivan. Um Yvonne, please help us with number three. Mm, I think is uh, benefit specialist. Okay, like this? Yes. Thank you. Um, Fabiola, please help us with number four. Teacher in the four, I write <laughs> benefit special. Okay, we'll write it down then. Okay, thank you. All right, number five, uh, Johnny. Can you help us with number five? And number number five, I think, is administrative assistant. Administrative assistant, okay. Correct. Administrative. Like this? Yes, correct. Okay. Thank you very much. And the last one, let's have um, Wendy. Wendy, can you help me with number six? Um, the number six is recruiting coordinator. For me. Okay, like this? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, now one of them is repeated, therefore probably we're, well, that means that we're missing one of them. Is there anything you want to change, Any anything you want or um, anything at all, any other of the other answers that you want to change? Something different? In, the, in the number three, I don't know if I'm correct, but I, Think will be compensation specialist. Compensation specialist. Do you agree with Ana Claudia? I agree with Ana Claudia. You agree as well. Anybody else agrees? Yes, I agree. You agree too? Okay, let's change that then. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? For, 
uh, or you all agree with the answers? I yes, think I it's better recruiting coordinator. Where? In number three. In number three. And then number six, what would be number six then? Uh, number six, compensation specialist. Okay, okay. All right, Let, if you look at number six, something that can help us is we're in the description it says designs and implements overall recruiting strategies. This word here is very, um, it's a key word that helps us to understand that the person makes recruitment. So because the person makes recruitment, then I would say recruiting coordinator is okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so the clues are right there in the answers, okay? Like number one, for example, telemanagement consultants is correct? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And yes, a word here that can give it away is talent. talent, right? The word talent is right there, so it's okay. Now, over here, HR generalist uh, develops appropriate strategies for uh, client regarding employee relations, discipline actions, operations. Now, there is no word here that is like a keyword, but we know that HR, human resource, deals with employees, with um, disciplinary actions. So yes, like the HR is the one that gives you like, um, like um, some sort of warnings, for example. So yes, that would be the correct one. Now, um, there was a little debate here with number three and four. Now, I'm gonna actually go, I'm gonna skip number three and I'm gonna go to number four. And here there's a key word. The word here is, Again, benefits. benefits. So is responsible for ass assisting with the administration of all benefits. benefits. As it says benefits, we know that it's yes, been a, a benefit specialist. Okay. And the same thing happens here. Handles administrative requests and inquiries for senior management. The word administrative is the same as here. So here's the keyword. So if this one's correct, then that means that the only one is left is number three, compensation specialist, which has to be obviously correct. And that's the one that works in a company's human resource or personnel department. Got it, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So, um, okay. So, um, Your turn for homework. This is going to be homework. Write sentences about people in your company and their positions using words in part two. Okay. Think about what are the what are the people what are some of the positions in your company? What do the people do? Can you give like a description of their job? Okay. Like what are they in charge of? Okay. And uh, there's a there's a there's a spot spot there in the book for you to complete it. Kind of looks like this. So you have six sentences to make. Okay, that's going to be for homework. Got it? Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So that's it. That will be all for today. Um, let me just quickly take attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres? Present. Present teacher. Present teacher. Uh, Fabiola? Present. Present teacher. Katie? Present teacher. Irene? Present teacher. Present. Ivan? Present teacher. Johnny? Present. Josue? Present. Uh, by the way, Josue, are you going to be able to stay for the the tutoring session? 
I have an activity with my classmates with a video conference. Oh, okay. So you're going to be doing something else. Okay, no problem. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Uh, uh, Juan, Juan Francisco? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jerry? Present teacher. Carla? Present teacher. Melissa? Uh, Luis? Luis? No, I think Luis had a problem, right? Uh, okay. Uh, Manuel? Marvin? Wendy? Present. Warner? Present teacher, my cell phone died with the camera teacher. Oh, okay, okay, no worries. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Okay, uh, Francisco? And Jenny? Present teacher. All right, guys, excellent. Okay, so that's gonna be all for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Um, and um, that's it, okay, so take care. Don't forget to do work on your on the, the platform okay all right and discussions okay so see you guys okay, see, see you ya. thank you teacher bye, bye. Good, bye. Good, night. Good, night. Bye. good night bye bye that's good see you tomorrow teacher see you tomorrow Werner <laughs>